One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, the list is very long. <laughs> Welcome to Exotic Astrology, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are back with another very interesting video. I wanted to make this video from a long time, but nonetheless, now is the right hour. What are some of the courses of YouTube astrology? Mm -hmm. I've listed down five to six courses. There are many. I will make part two of this video later okay and you can also let me know what do you think is the biggest curse among these six or any other curse all right because kaliuga is the age of fake news and misinformation kaliuga is the age of quarrel and hypocrisy as the Srimad bhagavatam 12th canto says kaler goshani dhe rajan asti hiye kaan mahat gunan Kirtana Deva Krishnasya Mukta Sangha Param Varjet. Kaliuga is an ocean of falls, O oh great king. <laughs> who is this great king and who is the one speaking this? Let me know in the comments. All right. So, what is the first uh, biggest curse of uh, YouTube astrology? There are so many videos uh, floating on uh, YouTube about these topics. Okay. The biggest and uh, this is the most important, I think, is the first one is dashas are less important than transits, okay? And transits are more important than dashas. Transits decide everything. No, 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 no. This is fake news because transits are just times when dashas deliver their results because the transits are same for everybody, okay? But everybody in this world, all the 7, 8 billion people, they have totally different lives okay externally they may have similar lives but internally they are totally different even though you may be in the same company uh, doing the same job but you may have a different level of expertise you may have a different approach to your job okay you may be born in the same family but you may be treated differently than compared to your sibling okay so Ultimately, the Shahs decide everything. It is not the transits. Many times people tell me, Oh, Venus transited my seventh house. I thought I'll get married. What to speak of marriage? I didn't even find anybody. That's terrible. Astrology doesn't work. All of you guys are fake. Well, you're running the Dasha of the sixth house. How can in the universe you get married if you're running the Dasha of the sixth house? Now, what Venus in a uh, seventh house transit can give you is it can give you a lot of interactions with the opposite sex. But does it mean that you will get married that time? No, that will come from the dashas. All right. So imagine a person is running the dasha of the seventh house. Then Venus transits the second, seventh, eleventh. Then you get married. Very simple. But if Venus is <laughs> if Venus is transiting the seventh, but your dasha is on the sixth house then you might meet members of the opposite sex in the uh, workplace and then that doesn't translate to marriage either all right so therefore this is the biggest curse because of this many people they just watch transit videos and still they are uh, having no knowledge of astrology after years of astrology in fact i had started this channel four years back till now i see some people they will still comment that oh and they have they had commented in my channel to th in 2017. They've been watching my videos from last four years. Not only my all other astrology channels. I see their comments there also. Oh, my planet has Rahu has entered my seventh house. So why did I not get married? Astrology doesn't work. It didn't work from four years and still they are watching. Incredible. Oh, and yes, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to my website. You will also find the link down below. And God is there with you always. <laughs> please pray to him that, that he can take you out of these misconceptions, all right? <laughs> and curses. What is the next misconception? What's the next biggest curse? One result fits for everybody. Okay, one result is for everybody. If Venus in sixth, you have a terrible married life. You will never get married. You will die. Your spouse will beat you. He will kill you. She will throw you out. All right. One result for everybody. Okay, they do not see the entire horoscope. YouTube is flooded with these comments. Oh, my Venus is in sixth. You know, my spouse cheated on me. What happened? 
And then another person, Venus is in sixth, that person became a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there are ascendants, different ascendant. For every different ascendant, Venus will rule different houses. So the results will change. Venus will be in a different sign in a different house in the Navamsa. It will be sitting in a different nakshatra. Okay. And the dasha will be different. The transits may be same ascendant wise, but then your original birth chart is different. Okay. So do not make this blunder. Please get rid of this tendency to generalize things by just seeing one placement, one placement alone. Okay. I've made many videos on career and on marriage. One planet doesn't decide everything. Okay. So this is one of the biggest curses. One placement you see and you generalize. I'm Manglik. Yes, my spouse will die. I must marry another Manglik, all right? Otherwise, my life is ruined. Not like this. Number three, third curse. This is huge. Past life astrology, okay? There's one client, um, he came to me and he said, one astrologer told him, <laughs> When I hear these uh, people speaking, I feel it's like some uh, comedy show is going on. Listen, what, what, what he said. He said, uh, one astrologer told him and he wanted to cross check with me. He said, this astrologer told him in his last life, okay, not last to last. <laughs> and it's just the previous life, which uh, supposedly he was another human being, another male. This life is a male in last life also he was a male. So in his uh, previous life, the one just before this, what he did was he had his mother-in-law and his mother-in-law had a sister. And this guy in his past life, previous life, went and slapped the sister of that mother-in-law. Okay. Now what has happened is in this life, that sister of that mother-in-law has become his daughter. Okay. And this daughter is causing so many problems in his life okay so then this person went to an astrologer and that astrologer told him actually you know uh, your daughter in this life she was the sister of your mother-in-law in your previous life you know so now she will take everything from you because you bet her you see all right so people are very much interested in what they did in their past life in the past lives all right where the humans they were dogs they were and uh, monkeys they were snakes you know they're very much interested who their spouse was, who their spouse will be in this life, all right? Who is their current spouse? Was she or he uh, their mother, father in the past life, okay? Or who they were, or they were enemies, all right? And how will be the future, past life, future life, okay? The only thing they're not interested in is this life, this goddamn life which you have to ensure that you are making the best out of it. That nobody is interested. They are all interested in playing these games. So when past life this happened, you know, next life this will happen. All right. So please get rid of these curses. All right. Stop wasting time going to your past life. You cannot change it. You just cannot change it. You just can't. Whatever you had done, you just cannot change it. The only thing you can do is, if you feel that there are certain areas or some people in this life who are very tough. You have tried everything, but you still do not have a good relationship with him. It's a very clear indication that you must have done something very bad to them in their past, in your past lives. Okay, so that your current life is a very good indication of what you did in your past lives. In fact, that's the only indication. That's the only thing you have. So you can do your best to have a good relationship with them. Do your duties. Do your dharma properly. Even if after that things don't happen, you can't then leave it up to God, right? But don't waste time going on saying, oh, who was my wife? You know, was she my brother or who, who was I? It's such a waste of time. But I see these things flooded, okay? Because it's very easy to tell somebody, oh, your you know, mother was your enemy last life. That's why uh, in this life, since the time you are born, she has been abusing you mentally. It's very easy to tell all this. But then can you take the person out of abuse? as an astrologer, or as a guide, or as a coach, or as a mentor, as a helper, can you do that? Is it useful? Can you do that? If you can, then it makes sense to 
may be saved who abused whom in the past lives. Okay, but if you cannot, and if you just leave the person, oh, actually, you know, your mother is, you know, mother abused you always. Ah, actually, uh, you know, you go through enemies in past life. Then, what do you make out of that information? Does it help you? What is the next curse of YouTube astrology? This is also very important. No lifestyle changes are required. All right, astrology is a game of planets, stars, nakshatras, grahas, devatas, blah blah blah, all the fancy stuff. And what do you need to do? You just have to, you know, go on uh, praising them, do stuti gaan, do some uh, arti, do some donation, you know, read some holy books, and then they will shower you with all their blessings, right? So, for example, many times people think uh, if they want to improve their Saturn, they can just chant some mantra for Shani Dev, and you know, and then Saturn will leave them. Uh, Saturn will spare them finally. All right. But the only thing that you don't have to do is make any lifestyle change, right? You can go to holy places like Panaras and you can throw some water uh, in the Ganges, all right, in Maganga, and everything will be completed, okay? Shortcut remedies, shortcut totkas, all useless and they are simply a waste of time. Why? Because ultimately, any damn planet that you have in the horoscope, either he is good, bad, exalted, debilitated, afflicted with friends or wherever he is, however he is, he is simply a reflection of your past life habits. So if you want to change your planets, the first thing you have to do is change your damn habits. Unless you do that, nothing else will work. <laughs> All right. So if you really want to improve your Saturn, then you must make sure that you have a schedule. You are disciplined in life. You cannot live headlessly like a donkey, right? It doesn't work, okay? If you want to improve your Venus, you cannot go on running behind members of the opposite sex like dogs, okay? You have to stay committed to one person, all right? Otherwise, your Venus will not improve, irrespective of how many donations you give to Goddess Lakshmi. It doesn't work, all right? Which is the next curse? This is very usual. Uh, number five, astrology is only main, meant for predictions. Okay, no, it is not. Astrology is not meant only for predictions. It is meant to be used as a guiding tool of your material life, so that you can have a better prospect when it comes to your spirituality. Okay, you can decide when should I retire. When should I take one aprast? When should I? Uh, when should I complete my responsibilities? How are my upcoming dashas? When I can save more money so that gradually I can devote more time to my spiritual life? That was the reason why astrology was written by Parashar Muni, not to check what kind of a spouse will you get or when will you get a million dollars. That was not the purpose, right? But this is what uh, YouTube astrology is all about, all right? So please guard yourself against these. And number six, what is the next curse, the last for today? You can learn astrology just by you know reading books, attending seminars, or you can just, uh, just by reading or seeing YouTube videos, you can learn astrology. No, 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 you cannot learn like that in the next thousand years, okay? To learn astrology, of course, you need all the information. You need to read the classics. You need to read the Brihat Parashar Hora Shastra. You need to read all the classics. You need to attend programs. Online, offline, you need to have a mentor. You need to practice. Okay, No doubt, you need to do all this. But after a certain point of time, you realize that the same planet is behaving in a different way for another person compared to one, okay? So then you will gradually realize that it won't work by information, nor will it work by experience, okay? You have to meditate, you have to pray to the planets, you have to read the Bhagavad Gita and you have to understand the law of karma, you have to understand the five factors that the Bhagavad Gita talks, okay? Write it down in the comments if you know. You must read the Srimad Bhagavatam to understand what is the ultimate goal of life? Okay, how to obtain spiritual perfection? The only book that says that is the Srimad Bhagavatam. All right, Bhagavad Gita says what is perfection. 
सर्वधर्मात्यज मेक शरण व्रज अहम तम सर्व पापे भ्यो मोक्षा मा सुचार बट श्रीमद भागवतम टेल्स यू हाउ डू यू ऑप्टेन दैट स्पिरिचुअल परफेक्शन सर्वधर्मान परित्यज हाउ डू यू सरेंडर टू कृष्ण हाउ डू यू डू दैट दैट द श्रीमद भागवतम आंसर्स ओके नाम संकीर्तन ये सर्व पाप प्रणाशनम प्रणामो दुख समनस्त नमा मे हरिम परम यस दीज आर सम ब्यूटिफुल श्लोकास The first shloka is also there. <laughs> All right. So when you study uh, the Shrimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita specifically, only then you can actually understand what is astrology. Okay. Not just learn some predictions. Not just say that, oh, I learned this course and you know I can just predict in uh, the first thirty minutes of the course. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. You will realize it later, not now. All right. Very good. Thank you very much for your patience. And uh, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And some other videos related to this topic, I'll put it here. All right. What is there with you? All the time, just look to him, and he will hopefully take you out of these curses. Okay. Thank you.